I, I, I kind of sensed it at the time when it was all, it's definitely Mac Jones. That's the reason why the Niners traded up. It's Mac Jones. There's no question it's Mac Jones. And now there's a, a town uh, where the Raiders play and Mo Green doesn't have a plaque or a signpost that believes it's Justin Fields now who the Niners decided to trade up and get. What are you hearing as we're 10 days away from finding out the answer to this question? I have no idea what causes the betting markets to move. It was Trey Lance is the favorite. Then it was Mac Jones. Then Justin Fields has his pro day, which the media isn't at. And Ohio State selectively sends out clips. Well, they're not going to send out clips of any bad throws if there were any. So I don't know how that reaction results in so much action landing on Fields that it skews the number. I go back to this. I don't think there's any way in hell that Kyle Shanahan packages ultimately three first-round picks and a third-round pick for a player to be determined later. He makes that move knowing who he wants. And at the very most, it's a process of confirmation. It's not a process of elimination. And, look, you keep your options open because you never know what's going to happen. The guy's got to get through to the first night of the draft, healthy. You always have to budget for the potential gas mask bong video <laughs> dynamic, right? But, but they, they didn't make that move without knowing damn well who they wanted. And I think they kind of like the, the mystery, but there's a line there because you don't want to come off as a team that just threw all those assets together and said, well, okay, we know we're buying an expensive car. We'll just figure out which expensive car it's going to be at some point down the line. Right. No, I know. And that's why I find that so hard to believe that that's why, you know, and and plus you also have to walk into Jed York's York's office and say, this is what we're going to do. And Jed, you know, definitely has delegated to Lynch and certainly Shanahan in a way that doesn't call in a question of him saying, You've got to run everything by me. But when you totally, you know, reconfigure your future drafts for somebody, I, I, I find it hard to believe that you go in and say, we're still going to just grind tape after this. Yeah. You know? Who you taking? I like your idea. Who you taking? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know how to spell his last name. Right. But uh, I don't know it is. Yeah. Hey, hey, and, Rich, I, I've pointed back to something Mike Shanahan, Kyle's dad, did 15 years ago when – the Broncos paid no attention whatsoever, any way, shape, or form. The Jay Cutler sprang up to number 11 with the Rams to take him, shocked everyone. Timing is the key. And for Kyle Shanahan, the timing was right because we know it's Lawrence 1, we know it's Wilson 2. You jump up to 3 and you own the board. Now, you don't have to turn in the name on the card, and I'm sure the NFL would prefer that they don't, that we have some mystery going into the first night of the draft. And I think that's what a lot of this is. They know who it is, regardless of who it is. And we don't know who it is, but we, we tend to think it's Mac Jones. But, but they know who it is, and I'd be stunned if that changes from the time they made the trade to move up to three until the time they put the name on the card. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.